In this episode, you will see plenty of new filters for photos and videos in Google Photos with real tone support. Your play points balance can be used for purchases directly in the checkout, plus 20 more new features and the changes across multiple Google apps. So let's find out what's new. I will start with Google Photos and it got a plenty of new filters for photos and videos and some of them are using the real tone technology. So let me open one of the photos and then tap on edit. Now when you go to filters, you will see a lot of new ones here and they are separated using these vertical lines. So you will see they are grouped together in a way. And when you tap on some of them, you will see this text showing briefly saying made with real tone. And also the same thing applies to videos. So let me open one of the videos here, tap on edit, and then go to filters and you will see the same filters showing over here with the same real tone technology. The second change is a new memory collection called similar shots and this one will include the photos that share the same characteristics. Next, YouTube music. And the first change is a new collection here called summer 2022. When you keep scrolling in the home page, you will see this new collection that will surface songs for the summer of 2022. And there is also a new spring recap, but unfortunately it disappeared. I found it on my homepage, so I took a screenshot and after tapping on it, this is the screen you will get. And when you go to the relax or focus tabs from the top and then scroll down, you will see a new category here called long listening. And this one will include the music with long durations. So here I have three hours, eight hours, one hour, and so on and so forth. And lastly, when you search for songs, you will get a new section here called more from YouTube. So this is one of the example songs. And as you see here, this is the main one or the original song. And you have more from YouTube. And this one will show you the remixes and the covers for the same song. Next, Gboard. And it only got one update, which is the support for summer emojis in the emoji kitchen. So I will use those two as an example and then expand the stickers. As you see here, I'm getting some cool ones to use in my conversation. Next, Google Chrome. And now the recently visited websites will appear in a carousel and instead of using a static grid like before. So this is the old design. And as you see, I have two rows and each row has four websites. But now you can see them in a carousel. The second change, when you tap on the lock icon next to the website link, you will see two new options. The first one is called last visited, which will show you the last time you visited this page. And the tapping on it will expand the full history for the website with the ability to delete any of the items. The second option is called from the web, and this one will show you more information about the website from Wikipedia. Next, Google Play Store. And the most interesting change is the ability to use your play points balance to purchase anything from the store. And as an example, I'm going to try to purchase this game. And as you see, the second item says use points. Tapping on it will show you the balance you have at the top right corner. And here's the amount of money you can save using your points. For each 100 points, you will get $1 off. And as you see here, I can use the whole balance and get 2.16 off. Once you make the choice and hit apply, the game will be purchased. That will make the redemption process for your play points much easier. Previously, to do the same thing, you need to redeem the points and get a voucher or a coupon and then use it to purchase stuff. But now you can do it at the checkout, which is much better. Change number two is the new banner you will see under the movies and TV section. As you see here at the top, it says movies and TV is moving soon. So you will no longer be able to see this tab in the future. And your only option is to use the Google TV app to rent or purchase movies. And when you tap on this banner, it will explain to you what's going on here. And you can immediately open the Google TV app if you have it installed or you can install it from here as well. And also when you go to the apps page and scroll down a bit, you will see a new section for the Google TV app showing you a carousel for some of the movies and TV shows with the ability to open or install the app from here as well. Talking about apps, when you scroll a bit, you will see a redesigned carousel for some of the sections like the recent activity, for example. This one will show you more information from the about section of the app. But if we're going to compare this to the previous carousels like recommended for you, all you get here is the app name and the rating. But now you can also see a snippet from the about section. 
Lastly, there is a new section called data safety for apps and games. And I showed you the same thing on the web in my previous episode, but now the feature expanded to the mobile phones as well. So let me show you another app here that will give us more information. So let's try this one, for example, and it says here no information available, but it depends on the developer if the data safety information is available or not. So let me try to find an app for you. This is one of the apps and as you see, it's a whole page just for letting you know what kind of data will be shared with the app, what data the app will collect, and also the security practices and so on and so forth. Next, Google Maps. And now you can see the air quality index for India, USA and Australia directly on the map. To activate the feature tap on the layers button and you will see air quality at the bottom right corner. If there is no air quality information in your area, you will get a zoom out button. Tapping on it will give you this bigger view. As you see here, India shows the feature, same as Australia and also the United States. And when you zoom in, you will see the number of the air quality index and it has a color coding for the better and worse. And when you tap on any of them, you will get more information to know if this air quality index is healthy or not. You can see the scale from 0 to 400. The lower the number, the better. And you can also see the air quality index for nearby places. You can tap on about air quality info to know more about the air quality feature and how it works. And the same information can be acquired from Google search as well if you want. Next, Google TV app is now available on iOS to replace the older Play Movies and the TV. And as you see, it got the new design I showed you in my previous video that includes the highlights and your stuff tabs. Next, Google Assistant and Google app. The first change is the removal of the location-based reminders from Google Assistant. And when you try to access the reminders page under the Assistant settings, you will see this message at the top. It says, soon you will no longer be able to set reminders at locations. The second change is under Google Assistant settings and then Assistant Voice and Sounds. Now when you tap the Speech Output option, you will see three choices instead of two. We used to have Full and Brief, but now the third option is called None Unless Hands Free which means your assistant will interact normally if you have the hands-free connected, but other than this, it will remain silent. The third change is related to Google Discover, and you might see a new tag for the YouTube videos showing in your feed says in case you missed it. Now let me show you some random changes across different apps, and the first one is Google Tasks. Now you have the option to favorite your tasks by tapping on the star icon next to it, and there is also a favorites tab if you want to check all of them together. Next, if you are using a Google Pixel and your settings services app is up to date, you should see a lot of improvements in the battery widget. The first one is the new icon for the Pixel Buds. Secondly, you will be able to resize it more. So for example, here I'm making it shorter and wider and that's why the devices are aligned horizontally and instead of vertically only like before. So this is the difference between the two. And when I make it narrower, as you see, it's now merging the two buds together into one box and I can make it even smaller. And in this case, it will remove the phone's battery and keep only the Pixel Buds battery. I can make it even smaller without any text and I can only see the graphical representation for the battery percentage. On top of this, you will get a new counter that shows how many Bluetooth devices connected and the more the devices, the more the number you get. And in some cases, you might see the battery percentage for your Bluetooth accessory. And lastly, when you activate the battery saver feature and then check your battery widget, you will see this new icon here next to your phone's battery percentage. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I wanted to share with you. Please let me know in the comments if you spotted any new feature in any Google app to include in my future episodes. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you the next video.